My name is Joe Von Thrawn, and today I'm going to eat a jellyfish. I never thought in a million years I would do this, but then I became friends with Gabe. Today I'm going to eat a jellyfish. We eat anything. <laughs> Literally. <Not anything. laughs> What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. We got Joey VT, and we're in Jacksonville. Got Kelly Young behind the camera. We're right here at a big old naval base. I would love to launch the drone and show you guys because there's a battleship in there, there's an aircraft carrier, but they don't like drones anywhere near that kind of stuff. We went fishing yesterday offshore with Mr. Joey. He's a charter captain in this area. And I'm going to show you just a sneak peek real quick of the fish we caught. Good God, look at the size of that thing. Wow, that's a porker. Somebody call 911. <laughs> hey, Brito's Mas Grande. Look at that giant. Back, 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 back. Stop. Get him! Oh God, turn the handle! Don't stop! Turn the handle! Yeah, that was amazing. But like me, I've always got to eat something weird. This morning while we were cleaning fish, what did we see? We'll show you right here. Yeah, we saw some Chinese guys on the dock and I'm like, what are they scooping up? What do you eat, this or in there? You, you eat, you yeah, eat yeah. that or this? Yeah, yeah, this two. Both? These two, yeah, no that one. Yeah, yeah that one, that one okay. This too salt. Too salt? Yeah, too salt. I don't, I don't like. This or that? All, all eat. Oh, okay. This is salt. Salty. No, okay. I, I don't like. The okay. So we're down here getting ready to clean all these fish that we caught yesterday. And these people here are catching these cannonball jellies. We've heard people like to eat them, and we think right now we're going to start to learn how to eat them. The sky's the limit to what you can get in the outdoors if you just open your eyes. We were over there cleaning fish. Now we're over here staring at jellyfish. <laughs> I'm surprised they're letting them crabs get away. That's actually premier sheephead bait. That's like all the guys that, you know, fish docks and fish on the beach around here, they'll go take cast nets and do what they're doing, dip nets, and they'll get these spider crabs out of these jellyfish and sheephead love them. It's a really good option if there's no fiddler crabs around, which is actually the status of Mayport right now. So all you sheephead fish would need to be go Netting some jelly balls to get these crabs out. There's a bunch of them here. There's, you know, two, three dozen right here. But... Leave a comment below if you speak their language and you know what they're saying because we have no idea. They're probably talking about us crazy white people because we're down here looking at what they're doing, but we're just interested in it. You can see he's just wading right there in the water. You got these seagulls in the background eating all the scraps. They gotta be cooking for a restaurant or something. They've got a lot. They ain't no way that's personal consumption. Oh, he's beat up looking. He's got the water. You guys, I've got the best idea in my mind ever. Show, look at the crab in that thing. Look at that. She pet candy right there. He's running. We got a runner. Oh my gosh. A little spider so crab. Cool. Yeah, they like to hang out in these jelly balls. I've got balls. the best recipe ever for these things in my mind, and I'm about to show y'all. Oh, here it is, right here. Get a bowl. Look at this thing. Well, that's, that's eating size right there, Gabe. Yeah. Now they use these same jellyfish for spade fish bait. Look at the texture of that. It's almost like, like hard jelly. And that's how you clean him. We eat this part and this part. We're gonna go back to the house and cook some of the fish that we caught yesterday and make a dish with this jellyfish that I think is going to be amazing. But I wanna find, we're like dead low tide. This morning when we were here, it was high tide and these didn't have any sand on them. This one's got some sand in it from washing around. So I'm gonna spend another second. There's just hundreds of them along the beach everywhere. And I'm gonna try to find a couple good live ones then we're going to go to the grocery store and we're going to get some ingredients and I'm going to make a dish never seen before on YouTube, I promise you. <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> You're the first one. And Quiet. I got the best taste test forever. <laughs> You're going to get an honest one for me. I'll let you know if it sucks. I'm not, I'm, I have very low expectations. If you could imagine that. <laughs> low expectations. What good live one? Yeah, I'm standing here. That water looks too cold for me. Oh. 
I'm thinking under that dock right there. There you go. Oh, oh got them on, jellyfish fishes. You guys, this is going to be so unique. So all the jellyfish that I'm familiar with, ooh, this one's alive too. All the jellyfish that I'm familiar with will sting the absolute snot out of you. But these are non-venomous. I mean, maybe they're venomous a little bit, but not very bad. They're not going to just put you in the hospital. Now, a man of a Portuguese man of war or a box jelly or some of them gnarly ones they have in like Costa Rica will hurt you, but these won't. I'm going to go make a dish right now with this big grouper that Joey caught yesterday, his throats and these jellyfish. You don't want to go anywhere because I promise you it's going to be good. And you're going to see it right here on Blue Gabe first. But can you promise me it's going to be good? No, I'm promising them because they don't have to eat it. <laughs> Hey, oh boy. You've seen me catch and cook sand fleas, plecos, iguanas, sucker fish. Pretty much anything you can eat, I've cooked it, but I've yet to cook jellyfish. We're about to change that. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got some live action here in the kitchen. Look at that thing. But this isn't where it begins. Where it begins is right here. Look at that grouper throat. That's just right around the bottom of his throat, up against his gills. This is where it begins. Got a pot of boiling water with just some fresh garlic, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of onions, a little bit of salt, and we're gonna let that come to a boil and use the broth out of that to cook the jellyfish. You don't have a clue where it's going yet, so don't try to guess. All right, let's clean this bad boy. So it's just like a big mushroom. Earlier when we were collecting them, you heard me talk about they use these for spade fish bait. Well, I've done a spade fish catch, clean, and cook, and when we were there, the captain we were with was talking about, man, we should have some jelly balls. I had no idea what he was talking about, but now I do. He was talking about these. So we're going to cut this real clear membrane right here off. Because the Chinese dudes at the dock today said, no bueno. Just like that. In this bowl right here now i'm gonna say and i think joey and kelly will back me up on this they didn't give us any instruction because they didn't speak any english i'm winging this because i had an idea and where your best meals come from or where ideas start i do need to wash that big old chunk of mud out of there though <laughs> good old sand i'm going after one of the most popular dishes there are but with my own twist Blue Gate style? Yeah, and I guarantee you, you're not going to guess it. You might guess it at some point, but not right this second. So in here I have white vinegar, sea salt, and just water. And I'm just taking these chunks like that, put it in there. The vinegar will help just clean anything bad off of it if there is something bad in there. I don't think there is though, because these came straight up out of the ocean. Now, you could pickle these for sure, and that's probably the best way to do it if you're looking for texture. But we're just looking for the experience. And I didn't want to just slap this on a piece of... Like Joey over there is like, I want to eat it raw. Well, that is cool, but I want to actually teach y'all how to cook something legit with it. So if you're having a party or something and you want to impress your people, you can do this. See that right there? I'm just going to cut it into some... Pizza pie pieces just like so now I did get a slight tingle in my fingers while I was handling it but it wasn't nothing bad you couldn't it was just excitement so the reason I want to eat it raw I actually asked some of those guys that were a long time a couple years ago how they prepare those things and uh, it was very very broken English but they essentially told me that they eat them all raw I may have been different for these people but it's like, yep, we eat them raw. We eat jellyfish raw. So zoom in right here. The one thing that I did catch from what they were saying today is this really little piece. Come on, okay, this is too salt. Too salt? Yeah, too salt, I don't, I don't like. That connects the two is the part that, it, that they don't like to eat. They said it's super, super salty. Yeah. They said, no, no, salty, salty. You guys, Joey is probably one of the best fishermen up here in Jacksonville and spends a lot of time with some of the best. He's never had a grouper throat. 
And I figured since I'm forcing him to eat jellyfish that he might not like, I'd treat him to a delicacy and I just cooked this. I didn't show y'all how I cooked it because I'm actually going to make a video of doing what I just did because I guarantee it's going to be the best he's ever had. It smells really good. Actually, I say we take it to the table. Mm -hmm. My consultation prize for <laughs> eating jellyfish. I'm actually, what is, oh, okay, well, I'll ask you when you're off camera, yeah, but I'm I have... That's the aftermath of Kelly's. Oh, yeah. Now listen, this is just like a chicken thigh, so... Ooh, can you, Ooh. Can you smell but, it? Can you smell, smell it? it. <laughs> listen, so a grouper is no different than a chicken. It has the white meat, which is the filet, and then the throats, and the head meat is dark meat. That looks identical to a chicken thigh, except for I left the fin on it. That's the throat. Dig in there and try some. There's no small bones anywhere in there. There are some bigger bones. Look how it just falls apart. Look, just, but can y'all see that? Mm. Oh, that's actually, I've never, this is actually the, legitimately the first throat of any fish I've had. I'm actually jealous you're getting the first bite, so hurry. Yeah, well, you're making me jealous yourself. So. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's unbelievable, first of all. First bite, dude, I'm eating all of this. You're making me eat jellyfish, you can get out of here. That is unbelievable. I'm definitely... But is it different than the filet? It's very different. So, it definitely has a different texture. And, uh, you know, it actually, it really, honestly, I think it tastes better, a little bit better. It's more, you know, what I learned when I was tuna fishing on the West Coast is that stomach area is a much, much fattier piece of meat. So I guess I would stand true with, <laughs> it's good. I guess I stand true with every fish. That is some good stuff right there. The fish is almost cooked. So what I'm doing is taking that fish broth and I'm making something out of it with the jellyfish. But what, what do you got to say over there? I'm actually like, this isn't like a lie or anything. I'm legitimately mad at you because you just added so much extra work to every single fish that I catch. Because I'm going to try every throat now. I'm actually like legit just like, this is unbelievable right here. And I gotta do it on every single fish I catch. Now thanks, Gabe. Literally, almost anybody that I cook throats for, they're like, look at that, there's more meat on the back side. Oh. So <laughs> they're blown I mean, away. This is like, this is legitimately an incredible meal. This is, <laughs> thanks, so thanks and, yeah, thanks, I guess, yeah. And that was just one side of that grouper throat. And think about if you've ever, like, snook, largemouth bass, redfish, almost everything has a big throat. Those hawkfish in Mexico had beautiful throats. And I learned to cook them, and I will never stop. I probably won't now either. <laughs> That's pretty unbelievable right All right, here. so this is looking done in here. So this was simple. All I did was boil some onions, garlic, a little teaspoon of vinegar, in the other throat so i'm going to drain this off and we'll be right back all right so i just pulled that throat out which was the other half of the one you've already seen joey eat and i pulled the meat and separated it look at that that's like half a pound of meat a little bit of butter now here's the cool thing and the health advantages you see that white stuff coming to the top that's collagen you see these right here <laughs> that will help for that it's, it's got all kinds of good stuff in it for your skin, for your bones, just all around good stuff. And because I boiled it, I didn't lose any of it. And the same with the jellyfish. It's full of collagen too. All right, so I don't want this to cook too long. Just soak up a little bit of that butter. I'm going to add just a little bit of lemon juice. Just like so. And I'm going to take this broth and I'm going to pour it back in there. I strained it out. I bought this little strainer. I couldn't show you because it was too hard. Where did it go? Right here. I was doing two things with once and just messed up. But that's what I did. And these are all the bones so I don't have anything left in there. I'm going to bring this to a boil then add the jellyfish and then It'll probably start coming to you what I'm doing. All right, here goes nothing. Slimy is what you would think by looking at it. Is it slimy? Yeah. 
But it wouldn't be eating jellyfish if it wasn't. Joey is desperately... Desperately? Making sure I save him a piece of this because he wants to try I'm it. Choosing, I'm waiting for the right one. I'm putting my face in the fan, folks. I'm doing it because everyone wants to see it. I am taking the sacrificial bullet of eating a jellyfish raw. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm doing it because I love Gabe. That's why. All right, so look in here. Show them what you're looking at. We've got the good grouper. We've got the jellyfish. Now what do y'all think we're doing? What does that remind you of? Some green scallions and some mushrooms. What's that look like now? Leave a comment below, folks. All right, you guys, like all cooking experiments, they don't always go as planned, do they? No, they do not. And this is a different style of video for me. This was mostly cooking in the kitchen, goofing off, camaraderie, but dead serious. These jellyfish this morning when we were cleaning fish, both him and I, because he's a YouTuber too. Make sure to check his channel out. What's it called? Joe VT Fishing. We'll Take just put it right here. Would you put it right there? Oh, wow. How about that? Anyhow, this morning when we were cleaning fish, I'm like, I said, dude, dip netting. And of course, him being the person he is, we're sort of the same personality. We went over there and that's what they were doing was scooping these jellyfish up. Appetizing. So I did look and do some research. Kelly had me Google what's the health benefits, but then I got to thinking, instead of chicken and dumplings, how about fish soup with jellyfish? Except for, look at this, y'all watch me put it in this soup. I guess because of the temperature, it completely disintegrated. But all the health benefits and the flavor will still be in there. And we have these three pieces right here that we say that are completely raw. You ready? That's like that thing, that dangly thing in the back of your throat. Don't make it worse than it is, game. <laughs> all right, on three. Cheers. I'm barebacking it. You bear. Oh man. One, two, three, go. It's crunchy. No. Oh, it's not crunchy. It is crunchy. It's just like no. I wouldn't say crunchy. Like um. It's really good. cucumber. Yeah, it's actually not bad. I guarantee, if you were starving, you'd pick them all up and eat them off the beach. But as far as this soup goes, I I did technically go for like a miso soup. I was thinking chicken and dumplings, but then I went for the miso look. Not the miso look. But then I went for the miso soup look and it really turned out great. The only thing I regret doing was I added a little bit of vinegar to try to kick some of that fishy flavor because it can get overpowering. Other than that, this is great. And it is absolutely full of jellyfish. Look at that. But now that I'm seeing it, this was just lukewarm water and it's already turning it into just like oh yeah, wow. slime. But if you're interested in doing something like this with your family, just try it. Now the next two videos you're going to see is us doing work on some fish. He put me on my biggest mutton ever. I'm not going to tell you the weight in this video. You'll just have to see. You'll have to see. Put Kelly on a limit of bee liners. This was insane. But you know what's funny right now? What is funny? Is Kelly's probably thinking he's not gonna make me try it because he forgot. No, we didn't forget. We got one more piece for you, babe. Come here. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you out. Oh, We're not gonna leave you really, out. Really? No, I'm like. I don't know. Well, I can't believe you didn't even like. Uh, did you? You didn't even like react to it. Like it tasted good. I it wasn't, it actually like, it was um, okay. You gotta take the hot seat over there, babe. I, I, how are you not sh completely shocked that it, it tastes fine? Like, it really does. Bro, it's when you eat as much crazy stuff as we do, you just I don't. I'm a very honest person. No, no, person. no, hold on, babe. Let me what? hold this knife. Yeah. Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> but right. you did not eat a piece of it. I mean, yes, I did. Oh. It actually, it tastes completely fine. I'm doing the soy. I mean, I, I honestly, I... And don't. honestly, you know what? I think you should try a piece without soy, both of you. Because it tastes like soy sauce. That's exact. I thought when I first ate it, I thought we cheers after you dipped it in the soy sauce, but it actually tastes like soy sauce. I kid you not. Hold on, let me hear that crunchiness. Oh. You just swallowed it. You cheated. Not well. You just it is crunchy. Food in it. That's rude, but he 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 brought it upon you guys. Sorry, he thought I swallowed it. Um, it's not terrible. It's just. Interesting. 
It's definitely weird because I'm not used to the texture, but it does have, I mean, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it again. It now I'm doing well, it raw, raw. Super raw. It tastes like soy sauce on its own. It's the strangest oh, thing. There's a slurp in my mouth. <laughs> like pasta. So yeah. Jellyfish pasta but coming like, in the next video. But like 10 times faster. But do you think Jake and Luke would like it? If you didn't tell them what it was. You could trick the children, yeah. It has a, a very, very light, I don't know. It tastes dip like your soy hand sauce. Here. You can't dip say it because you just ate some. Yeah. Dip your hand in here and show them the consistency of that bowl. Oh, it's jelly -y. jelly -y. imagine that. What's, it's like it's a jellyfish. It's like a jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. I don't That's know. Different. It's, it's definitely different. Um. I, don't, I, don't, I just, it's so hard. It's it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I didn't make any crazy faces like the squirrel, but. I think we I'm, need to do a rematch when we have more time and we're at home. Yeah, I kind of, you know what I would, I think I would enjoy this in, in like a spring roll with like vegetables and you yeah. can put the jellyfish with vegetables and roll it up in those spring rolls. That would be pretty good. Cause it's kind of crunchy. So the next time I do it, we're gonna take some home with us and we're gonna actually clean them salt them and then pickle them and then make like a jellyfish salad what you think that sounds good wait i didn't try the soup oh did you try the soup yet no oh, yeah no, i tried it oh yeah i didn't try the soup i didn't try it yet. i really think gabe you should try it without anything on it because it i yeah i would but i'm holding the camera it's good oh yeah i'm the camera guy yeah. okay i can hold the camera too i got two working hands come here Let's do that camera Right no, you you brought it up. You tried. I did it twice. I did it twice. It's very strange to think that there's like melted jellyfish in this. I know, a bunch really... of melted jellyfish. Yeah, a lot of it. It's not bad. Like you said with the vinegar, but other than that. Well, it's pretty good. That's good. Skylines are my favorite though. Mm. This is actually pretty. All right, you guys. What we came to Jacksonville to do was Redfish. My brand new Pro Drive's right behind us at this awesome little Airbnb that Kelly found us on the internet. This place is amazing. If you come to Jacksonville and you want somewhere cool to stay, I'll have all the information for this Airbnb in the link below. But right now, we're gonna start rigging rods because what we came here for was Redfish. Now, obviously his trip was one of the best fishing trips I've ever been on in my life, if not the best, because my arms are killing me. But we're going red fishing tomorrow, so we're going to put this camera down. But until next time, what's Jake always say? We getting the heck out of shape.